the second year, I used to go quite often. I didn't really know what was expected. I was new to university, and so their help uh, guided me and pointed me to the right way. Third year, I did co-op, so I wasn't really on campus much. Uh, fourth year, I'm quite independent, and I get uh, I have a lot more close contact with the profs themselves. So if anything, I go see the professor, and not so much the TAs. No. It depends what class it is, but majority of the time, if I do have a problem with my test or assignment, and then if I have any like issues with it, I would go talk to my TA. And when I do go to them, I ask them why I, what went wrong with my assignment, and they are pretty helpful sometimes. But it all, I think it also depends on the TA itself. Because some TAs they just give it like a general thing, and usually they say that teachers grade them. Um, I think I do so much more now than I did first, second year because back in my high school we were always encouraged to just listen to the professor or the teacher and the rest of the work is by ourselves and getting used to that two-way communication was a bit hard and now, now I do, yeah, I think it's helpful. More of a case that um, I've gone to them because it's something subjective. So it's more a balance between learning what their opinion is actually on something more than learning on a matter because we end up debating actually sometimes on something where there isn't an absolute answer by itself. So I'd say 20% of the time I'm going there for an absolute answer because I don't get something maybe in an economics class. But beyond that, it might be just learning the person so I know how to increase my grade but I'm just learning how to... Uh, okay, so for instance, person. if you had a, a... When I do go CTAs, I find that they're usually helpful, uh, especially in first year. Uh, I especially remember Econ 1000. That TA was perfect. It explained everything uh, that I didn't understand. Uh, moving forward to second and third year, also quite helpful, uh, specifically uh, like with numbers like stats or calculus or linear algebra, we would do we would take up problems. I find that they weren't very flexible in meeting outside of the set time, and sometimes I found myself correcting some of their calculus. Um, I would say it also depends on the, the TA and it depends on the class. Because I remember there were some classes where the TAs were very, very, very useful and very, very helpful and they do tell you exactly like in detail and they go through the steps with you. And it also depends how old I think I find with my TAs. Because the younger ones, they are more friendlier and just like more friendly to like friend friend environment. They're just like, well, here's how your mistakes and then go in such detail. But of the ones with like PhD, who's been there for a while, who actually goes to class in detail, they would go in in depth and be like, well, you can look at this page in the textbook to look for your answers, or this is how you can improve for your next task, your next assignment. Because they'd actually point out your mistake, obviously, and the, they'd tell you what they're looking for for the final exam. Um, so I think it's always best to speak up when you can. No, I never ask for actual learning strategies. I take everything there by myself, so if I do find that an answer is incorrect, I'll go find the answer by myself. I find that journey is much more uh, fulfilling and long term as a result. Uh, I'd only go to them if I really can't find the answer, or again, if I have to play to what they're looking for. In class, I've always felt very comfortable to raise any issues that I don't quite understand, or uh, professors have always created an environment where everyone feels uh, that their questions are welcomed and that they can stop the lecture at any time for clarification. And uh, professors usually encourage that, uh, saying that you know what, what you don't understand is likely in everyone's mind. So it's it depends on some of the classics. Because some teachers they would be, they would encourage mistakes. Be like if you learn from your mistakes, you will learn a lot more from it. Especially like that strap class that I had once upon a time. And the teacher encouraged it. So if you made a mistake, then you can say improve from it. But some other teachers, they, it doesn't seem like they acknowledge it as much. It also depends on like if it was a math class. Some teachers would be like, if you make one mistake, it'll carry through. But if you make a mistake, some teachers would just give it completely wrong, and it's not really as encouraging. It might be a different situation in front of the rest of the class because everybody else is listening to what you have to say and I'd be afraid to speak up in a situation like that. Um, so if anything, I would go after a class or during hours, but um, I would, like if nobody else speaks up about it, I'd rather keep quiet because it would be something 
that everybody else understands that I don't, so I'd have to try to figure it out myself before coming to the point where, okay, mm -hmm. there's nothing I can do, I have to go to the prof for this. Um, I've had a few teachers, I guess, that do emphasize and maybe think courses like strategic management, you'll get it more at the higher levels. And yeah, I prefer that 100% if they allow clever mistakes because it means that you can give a genuine opinion on something and you don't have to be concerned because you know you're going to get proper feedback. I could only name two teachers that uh, I've had during my entire university career that did. Okay. It's, no.